Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, Nvidia is trying this again. They basically admit that we're all screwed, GPU shortages until when? Intel is ready to fight back and a huge leak on Intel's 12th gen CPUs. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, if you followed the channel, you know that Nvidia recently made a big screw up. According to them, a driver for their RTX 3060 was accidentally released that got around their Ethereum mining limiter. And yes, it does still require a few things to mine with more than one GPU, but miners found ways around it. Well, according to a new report by HKEPC and Igor's lab, it looks like Nvidia is set to launch a new GPU variant that includes a better GPU limiter. The new GPU is codenamed GA106-302, and because of the new device ID, the current 3060 driver won't work. Not only that, but according to the story, Nvidia is set to add even more measures to try and stop miners from using the cards. Now, I will say that this somewhat shows that Nvidia likely did release those drivers by accident, but it definitely doesn't give me any confidence in their future efforts. That, and while it's good they're still trying, this doesn't fix any 3060s that have already been sold. Now, if you're ready to dive deeper into tech, learn the right way with today's sponsor, Brilliant. The website and app that doesn't teach you with lectures, tons of reading, or just memorizing formulas. They teach you by doing, and they're made specifically for teaching the STEM field. So you know you're in the right place. Just pick a course and get started. If you get stuck, they show you why it didn't work. Plus, they've got something for everyone, even cutting-edge topics like quantum computing, machine learning, and cryptocurrency. Oh, and they're constantly adding more, along with daily challenges to keep you fresh. So don't wait. Learn the right way by visiting brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And the first 200 people who visit the link get 20% off the annual premium today. Next up for today, we have an update on the GPU shortages that comes directly from NVIDIA. And it's bad. If you remember, late last year, Nvidia claimed that it would only take a few months for availability to catch up with demand. Of course, at the time, a few months seemed like a really long time. Since then, cryptocurrencies have been moving up in value more and more, along with industry-wide supply issues from the thing that shall not be named. So things aren't looking good. Well, during NVIDIA's annual Investors Day, the company's CFO, Colette Crest, stated, quote, We expect demand to continue to exceed supply for much of this year. Yep, that pretty much says it. Things aren't going to get better anytime soon. Now, the CFO did follow it up by saying, quote, Our operations team is agile and executing fantastically. We expect our supplies to increase as the year progresses. So yeah, maybe things will get a bit better, but that also sounds more like marketing speak than anything else. Especially when TSMC is saying things even worse. And remember that TSMC makes AMD's GPUs and CPUs. During the company's first quarter earnings call, TSMC CEO stated, quote, In 2023, I hope we can offer more capacity to support our customers. At that time, we'll start to see the supply chain tightness release a little bit. Yeah, you heard that right. TSMC doesn't expect things to really ease up until 2023. <laughs> of course, TSMC has reportedly operated at over 100% utilization in Q1, and they have a ton of clients, but still, that's two more years. Next up, it looks like Intel is ready to fight back against Nvidia's newest announcement. For those who don't know, NVIDIA recently announced their first AI CPU, and Intel's new CEO, Pat Gelsinger, was asked about it. In his answer, he made it clear that Intel won't be backing down. He also claimed that their release was NVIDIA responding to them, not the other way around. At the end, he stated, quote, We expect this to be an area where we are on the offensive, not the defensive going forward. Basically, Intel isn't playing around when it comes to their newest competitor. Of course, with them entering the GPU market, Nvidia has to be ready as well. Luckily, competition is great for the consumer. And lastly for today, we have a huge leak on Intel's next-gen Alder Lake CPUs. Remember that Alder Lake is set to be Intel's first 10 nanometer desktop parts, and it uses their new big dot little design. And remember that Intel already confirmed that 12th gen is coming this year. Like I've said multiple times, 11th gen was nothing but a stopgap until they can release their 12th gen parts. Well, even I assumed the release wouldn't happen until the absolute end of the year, but it looks like it could be much sooner. 
in a recent tweet from leaker HXL, we have pictures from an Intel presentation. And as you can see right here, it shows that Alder Lake is set for release towards the end of Q3. Here's the thing though, this is for their entry level workstation parts. Now that's important because as of now their Rocket Lake parts still haven't released, meaning their workstation CPUs are likely coming after their core products. Of course, this could be a bit old considering the workstation Rocket Lake parts were supposed to release in Q1. Either way, this could easily still be their goal, so we may see Intel's next gen parts much sooner than we thought, and that obviously makes their 11th gen release even more pointless. Now moving back to the slide, we have even more details. As you can see, it confirms the leaks claiming Alder Lake gets up to 16 cores. The TDP is also set to max out at 125 watts for their K models, though as always that doesn't mean much coming from Intel. Not only that, but it uses the LGA 1700 socket and comes with 20 PCI Express lanes. And of course, these parts should translate to the mainstream parts as well. At the end of the day, it looks like Intel is finally ready to hit back hard later this year. So while that does it for today, are you excited for Intel's upcoming 12th gen CPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like all things gaming hardware, make sure to check out the GamerMail Discord server at discord.gg slash And as always, have a great day!